everything you need to know about Jamie Vardy. Jamie Richard Vardy was born on the 11th of January 1987 in Sheffield and was raised by his mother Lisa after his father left at an early age. The Englishman played football as a kid and joined his boyhood club Sheffield Wednesday, whom he still supports to this day, but was released aged 16 when the club told him he was too small to make it as a professional player. After leaving the Owls, Vardy signed for local side Stocksbridge Park Steel's reserve team impressing manager Gary Marrow on his debut back in 2007. He was given a semi-professional contract, earning £30 a week. His good form at Bracken Moor soon garnered attention from a number of football league clubs, including Rotherham, who offered him a six-month deal that Vardy refused, given that he had a full-time job making leg splints. However, Crew Alexandra's offer of a trial with provisions tempted Vardy, and he agreed, a decision that turned out to be fruitless anyway as the railway men cut the trial short. Not to be disheartened, the striker continued to pursue a career in football, before eventually signing permanently for Halifax Town in 2010 for £15,000, where manager Neil Aspin revealed he was a long-time admirer of Vardy's determination, speed and finishing. In his first season with the Shaymen, Vardy bagged 26 goals in the league and nearly scored three consecutive hat-tricks too, but fell just one goal short of the feat. With such unbelievable form, it came as little surprise when conference premier side Fleetwood Town swooped. Vardy got off to a flyer at his new club, netting 34 goals in just 42 games. This included an impressive cup run with the Cod Army that eventually ended after a 5-1 drubbing by local rivals Blackpool. Despite this, Tangerine's manager Ian Holloway was so impressed with Vardy that he made an on-the-spot offer of £750,000. The club rejected the bid though as they wanted over a million for their star striker. That wish was eventually granted by Leicester City's Nigel Pearson, who paid £1 million rising to £1.7 million, a record fee for a non-league footballer. One stipulation of the deal was that should Vardy be sold again by the Foxes, Fleetwood would receive at least 20% of the fee. Now that is long-term vision. Upon joining Leicester, Vardy struggled to get a foothold in the side and found it tough to adapt to life in the Championship, so much so that he considered quitting football in 2013, only for manager Pearson and assistant Craig Shakespeare to talk him out of it. After a summer of good old hard graft, Vardy came back with a new vigour, adapting to the league and refinding his scoring boots, bagging 16 goals and carrying Leicester to promotion. The Foxes struggled on their return to the Premier League under Nigel Pearson and found themselves rooted to the bottom of the table at Christmas. Again, Vardy struggled for goals and form. However, by March, the Foxes produced a miraculous turnaround, climbing to 14th by May with Vardy winning the Premier League Player of the Month the club took an unprecedented 22 points after April 4th. The following season will go down in history as one of sport's greatest ever feats, as Vardy spearheaded Leicester's 2015-16 charge to the title, leading a squad of unfancied players with his ruthless finishing and never-say-die attitude. His combinations with Danny Drinkwater and Riyad Mahrez in particular were stunning at times, and by November, Vardy had become the only player in Premier League history to score in 11 consecutive games. In February, the Englishman signed a new four-year deal at the club that saw his wages climb to over £80,000 in the process, a far cry from £30 a week. It proved to be a sound investment, and on the 10th of April, he became the first Foxes striker to bag 20-plus goals in the top division since Gary Lineker in 1985. He finished up on 24 league goals as the Foxes won their first ever top division league title, and in the process, wrote their names into footballing history. Now on the big stage representing England at Euro 2016, surely Jamie Vardy's stock will only continue to rise. So that was everything you need to know about Jamie Vardy, but how is he going to do with England at the Euros? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And talking of the Euros, why don't you check out everything you need to know playing on screen right now. And as always, guys, please do like and subscribe.